Howdy Partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through the old uh, RS Norlatch Array uh, memory cell. Uh, specifically this one, which is the sequential one, uh, where the torches light up in order. And then you can subtract them back uh, down like that. These are really useful um, for things like seven segment displays, which I featured in my last tutorial, and combination locks, much like this. Uh, like that, and nom 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 nom. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through how to build it today, and then hopefully I'll also get up a tutorial on how to make your combination lock and hook it up to a decoder uh, this afternoon. So, uh, yeah, cool. Stay tuned. Hawkeye. Um, so let's start off with just building the latches. Uh, if you don't know what an RS NOR latch is, uh, you can check out my previous tutorial on it. I'll put a link in the description uh, and all that uh, so you can understand what it is. It's basically a one bit memory cell that just remembers one piece of information uh, when you want it to. So um, we're going to do four in a line, uh, but you can do as many as you want uh, in this array. Um, depending on what application it's for. If you're going to use it for a seven segment display, um, you would want 10, preferably 0 to 9, uh, each latch representing a number going into a decoder, etc. Um, but yeah, in this example, we're going to use 4. So that is it done, basically. You've got all of the latches with a gap in between uh, and just running out in a line like this. Um, and then what you've got to do, because currently, uh, if I give you an example, if we were to use one button or input to try and trigger these in order, we would actually just set them all off at once, which is not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get this one to go, then this one, then this one, then this one uh, on every button press. Um, so to do that, you have to put AND gates in between uh, each of the latches, and uh, that's what we're going to do now. Right, um, so we've got to put AND gates in between each one of these latches to make them go in order rather than all at the same time from one button. So I'm going to build it and then I'll explain it. So we've got black blocks are going to be our AND gate. Um, so we start like this, one in between like that, redstone torch on each one and then uh, dust on top of that. Then we've got to extend out the back of these latches so we do that by going two blocks, three blocks, two blocks, and that would just carry on out if you had more latches. So three blocks, two blocks, etc. Um, so that's that. And then we're going to put redstone torches at the end of these extensions, like that. And these are what are going to be our kind of inverted AND gates. Um, and I'll explain that in a little bit. So we've done that. Then we want a repeater there, redstone block above it, uh, repeater, repeater, redstone, block above it, repeater, redstone, block above it. Uh, and then just to finish off, we want to put a repeater there and a repeater there. And this is going to be our input line here, um, which we can actually put in now. So your input line is going to go into every latch. So that goes into that latch, that one, and that one. And then the button's going to be here, but I'll do that in a sec. Um, and then finally, you just need to connect up this torch with this blue block at the beginning of the latch, like that. And that is actually pretty much the array done. Um, now, to add a button or an input, um, unless it's over there in our um, combination lock, you kind of have to do this. So uh, I'll show you what it is. So you've got a block with a button on it. And then we need to feed into the first latch like that uh, with a repeater there just to stop any feedback coming through uh, when this torch gets swapped to. Uh, we don't want the signal to come back into this block because there's going to be a repeater this side with full delay, a torch there, and then connect that up to our inputs. Now, our inputs always want to be on um, to keep this torch off, otherwise we're going to activate our latches when we don't want to. Um, and that's why it's kind of an inverted AND gate. Uh, if you don't know what an AND gate is, um, I did do a tutorial on this as well, so I'll put that in the description uh, and you can check it out and see what it is. Um, but in this case, what we want is two power sources powering one block 
to keep one torch off and then when both those power sources turn off they allow this to turn on and flick the next latch so currently that's how this works so the first one goes second one third torch fourth torch like that um now let me explain how that works okay so when you press this button here it comes in here and it just powers this latch on so that's pretty self-explanatory um, but now that we've got this black uh, wall block here with the redstone on top this torch is also powering that redstone which then turns this torch off uh, which is the first part of our first AND gate now because this torch is off uh, this repeat is off and is not actually powering this redstone anymore even though it's on which is coming from here but what this means is when this repeater now turns off, it's going to allow this torch to turn on for a very short period of time um, and then activate our second latch. Um, so if I give you an example of that, now when I press this button, this repeater is going to turn off and that torch will turn on very briefly. As you can see there, and it's allowed our second latch to turn on and it's just carried over exactly the same idea onto this AND gate which is the half of the third latch um, and then it just keeps going down the line like that so hopefully you guys understand that the third one fourth one like that uh, and if you don't understand it you can just copy the build and it'll work anyway so brilliant um, yeah so that's the that's the add line uh, done and now if you want to be able to subtract we've got to add this green thing uh, to the back of it to allow you to pull the torches back one uh, every time which is more useful for the seven segment display and stuff like that rather than the uh, combination lock so we'll do that now right so adding the um, subtract line I'm going to use green wall for this so you want to come around the back of the latches and then put your green wall in here like this um, and then torches on that block in front not directly below but just one block in front there and then a block here then you want redstone on top of these blocks torch 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 and then repeaters going into the back of each latch like that uh, there should be a torch there as well um, then what you want is repeaters going into each one of those blocks just again to stop any uh, feedback coming through to our button we're about to put here connect all those repeaters up then you got your block with a button on it so this is our um, pulse limiter which limits the pulse mm -hmm. I'll explain that in a second uh, so now that's it done um, what this allows you to do is when you count up so say you were on buttons don't bug out if you were on three the third torch and you wanted to bring it back to two so say you're trying to display two on a digital display you press that button and it resets you back to two torches press it again and that will bring you back to one um, so yeah like I say that's way more useful things like digital displays uh, rather than our combination lock which I'll explain in the next video um, so that's it pretty much um, once you've got those two things in, the last thing you can do is add a kind of universal reset switch, which I'll uh, show you now. So that goes a bit like this. You want to put red wall above each cross of redstone here because to reset a latch, we've got to power this cross of redstone. Um, so to make a switch that just resets the whole thing, you want to just put repeaters down like that. And these are going to power the red blocks in turn and just reset every single latch. Um, and you can actually do that. You can actually make the torches reset themselves in sequence. So let me show you that as well. Um, if you put a torch there, that there, that there, um, and then an inverter there. So now what will happen is when you get to this final torch it will light this up turn this torch off turn this torch on and then it's going to power this entire reset line and just reset every um, latch so I'll show you that so we go through the first three latches and then when we hit the fourth one it just resets it like that 
um, which can be quite good for counters if you need to reset back to the zero. So you get to uh, nine there and then it just resets all the way back to zero. Um, so that's a little addition that you can put on. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, I'm going to give uh, Minecraft Addict a shout out because this is really his design. I've tweaked it slightly. Um, but he came up with it, so I'm not going to claim any credit for it. I just thought you guys would find it useful. Um, and like I say, I'm going to put up at least the combination lock tutorial uh, in depth, uh, hopefully this afternoon. So, um, yeah, cheers for watching.